everyone and welcome back to VH Agates. My name is Tony and today I'm going to be cutting some awesome agates from Mozambique, Montana in the USA and even one from Paraiba, Brazil, a polyhedroid agate. Uh, I got these all from Joshua over at Agate Bay so make sure to check out his website. Come join me. Okay, so here's a quick overview of today. I've got the Mozambique agates, several of them, some dry heads and the Paraiba agates. So let's check how I would cut these. Now the first one is actually quite difficult because there are some windows in here. See the water level bending I want to keep. So the cut has to be somewhere about there to keep the water levels. Now I need to avoid all windows. There's no real chance of a diagonal cut because of this window and this window. So I'll probably go straight through the middle with this one. This one is a surprise, so I can go the long way or uh, along the thick way just to keep enough banding. If, if there are bands in there, I mean, I've got this one. There's a nice little window here, nice little window there. I'll probably go for the biggest surface in this way. So I'll go diagonally over there. To keep, this is a, quite a surprise. Oh, there's some nice pink in there of that. Um, a few windows as well. So if I want to, if there are any water levels, I'm pretty much done for. I'd probably go along the top here. This one, there is no avoiding windows in this one. It's in my, uh, my picture for starters. It runs all the way to the back of the window. I'll go through this because otherwise I don't have any, any image left anymore. And there's a small one, there's a big window here, one on top. I'll try to go straight through the middle there. As for the dry heads, some of them have a window, but I'll go for the biggest image I can get out of every one of them. So there's some agate in here. I'll probably go behind it and try to get the biggest face out of it. This one as well, no telling what it will do. I'll go for the biggest face. Very curious to this one. There is a piece of agate here and I'll probably go for the biggest face. I'm not going to take this one into account. It's just about the width of my blade. So I'll probably go through it, this one, to have the big face. This one has a piece missing, but no agate there yet. So I'll probably go straight through it for the biggest face. The flat one. So again, for dry head, biggest face. And this one as well. Take the bottom part. There's a bit of chalcedony here, as far as I can see. So go through that part. As for the Paraiba goes, um, these aren't fractures, they're actually chambers because you can see the lines there. I'm not sure if I can take them into account. If I want the thickest part, I'll have to go past here over this line to this corner. That way I have all the colors inside because you can see it's darker inside. I'll have a big full face there. Okay, first one, here goes. Okay, that was a quick one and it kind of snapped at the end, so probably because of a fracture, but here goes. Oh my goodness. What? Oh. Who would have thought, oh my. I knew there, there would be water level bands, but that's insane. That's crazy. So this is easy to work with. I can grind it off easily. Uh, this will take some work, but still, that's an insane agate. Yes, <laughs> what a start. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. Okay, number two. It was a pretty smooth cut, actually. I avoided most, well, smaller windows. That's all right. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, so great colors in there as well. I love Mozambique agates. 
There seems to be a sort of internal chip there, but apart from that, it's it's perfect. Wow. Look at these bands. Oh wow. And the eyes in there are they're they're awesome. <laughs> and again, very lucky. No major stress for no major fractures. There are some underlying ones, but they're they're not bothering anyone. These are awesome. Like the little sort of calcite flowers almost. I'm not sure if they're calcite or aragonite or Nice inclusions. Another great piece. Let's go on. Okay, as you might see, I barely missed the color here. I uh, wasn't planning on, but might be better. It, it saves me some... Um, it, I have some extra grinding space over here. Let's see what it does. Look at these colors. That's insane. The contrast in these things is incredible. The grow forms like oh, stalactites, stalagmites are awesome. Not bad at all. Very happy. So obviously, I don't know what the face is doing, but I'm happy with the cut I made. I mean, cutting by hand is sometimes difficult. I have a vice, but it's very small. So here we go. Now, how is that for pink, eh? That is cool. Very soft pink pastel drawing. Yep, very happy with that. <laughs> Okay, well, we saw something chip at the end there, which was here, but it's on the window. I'm next to it, and if you ask me, I avoid it, most of them, quite nicely. So, let's see what this one does. Oh, wow. So, there are definitely some big fractures in this one. It's still a good agate, but riddled by the bigger fractures. Got these nice snowflakes in there. That's weird. Haven't seen them yet in Mozambique. It's a new one for me. I know some Mexicans do have a lot of snowflakes. On to the next part of the video. The Montanas or the dry head agates. Starting with this one. No draw. Okay, well the matrix is harder than I expected. I think it's empty, but we'll see. Maybe it isn't. Yes, so it happens. Uh, dud, clay ball. This can go away straight away. There's one dot of quartz in there. It's too bad, but... Okay, so a bit wobbly at the start. Uh, a piece of the matrix broke off. I think the cut's still okay, still nice. Here we go. Hey, there is some maggot in there. <laughs> it's small, but it's very nice. Blue and orange is very great. Very good in this piece. Oh yeah, there is an edge here, but shouldn't be a problem when grinding. Nice little piece. It'll stay, yep. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, up next, I think I saw a glimpse of quite a bit of Matrix there. Yeah, well, we'll see. Nope, there is Agate in there. <laughs> awesome. Woo! I, I love the orange in, in dry heads. That's really cool. And the contrast with the white as well. Awesome drawing. Nice. On to the next one. Okay, I'm curious. I saw some sparks flying halfway through. So if sparks are an indication of agate in this one, in this matrix, there should be some in here. But there isn't. <laughs> So the matrix is hard as hell, also. Almost like agate. Probably almost seven. So that's one for the bin. Okay, so. It's, there's never a guarantee. Who knows, maybe the agate is stopped by there, but we'll see. I mean, having a full, um, full-faced full agate for a dry head is quite rare, so... It's gone. <laughs> and in the middle there is a very tiny one. <laughs> so where I suspect it to be more, is, like I said, you can never be sure. I'll save it. I mean, there is agate in there. It's not even ugly, but still. That... Okay, I have some high hopes for this one because the start was very tough but maybe it's always maybe here we go there is some agate in there only at the start <laughs> but hey that's agate cutting for you uh, it's not always that you get the main prize um, I have a few very nice ones but yeah there is some agate in there So to close off my agate cutting extravaganza today, the Paraiba. And I told you guys, I'm going to get the thickest cut right there. Okay, it was a very, very smooth cut. I suspect there will be some quartz, maybe a dark butyrital. It sounds hollow. Here we go. Oh, what? <laughs> it's blue butyr. Oh well, no, blue agate and white butyroidal. That is awesome. Look at those tiny little butyroidal balls in there. Come on, focus. What is that? Wow. That's weird. And awesome. Well, the focus doesn't want to. No matter. <laughs> so let's go inside and check them one more time. Okay, so back inside, let's check a few of these agates out. Better up close. The contrast is absolutely amazing. I love these... Um, Sort of stalactite forms in there. Okay. If you love pink, you love this piece. <laughs> it's as easy as that. There might be a very thin stress fracture there. Nothing to be worried about. 
This one was a bit broken up. Might be able to use some epoxy on it. I'm not sure if that will help him out. We have this lovely piece. Some of these formations are incredible. Look at that. That's awesome. I really like this agate. Almost there for the Swazi agates. Very dark piece, this one. But complete nonetheless, it doesn't have any fractures, so I will definitely polish that one up. And last but not least from the Mozambique agates, the Swazi agates, the absolute killer agate here. I mean, yes, it needs some work, but it will be absolutely perfect. Look at this. Agate wise, it doesn't get better than that. Astonishing. Okay, and the dry head agates, the Montana agates, better up close. I'll leave it zoomed in for now. It's easier to check out the agates. Formations are really awesome. I would have liked it to be, you know, filled up a bit more. Although I get the feeling, if I look at this, that it flows inwards. Maybe, just maybe, I will recut this piece someday. Um, next is this small piece. Well, it's a big piece, but only a small piece of agate. The big boy, really big boy, but it just doesn't do much. And the last one from there, which is obviously my favorite for today from Montana. Really nice. And last but not least, we have the polyhedroid, which is insane. The colors are just astonishing. You have the, this, this, the blue lines, so the blue agate formed inside the quartz, the floatery type. And then the botryola is almost like a teal color, like blue and green mixed together. Add to that these extra formations, like sort of extra chambers makes it an amazing piece top notch <laughs> so thank you all for watching Should, um, tell me in the comments which one is your favorite today and ooh, and i'll see you all in the next video